To all my haters and to all the Jared Goff doubters, I just got one thing to say to y'all. Read them and weep. The Detroit Lions have extended Jared Goff, and we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned. What are we? What makes us what we are and what we're going to be? It's grit. It's what we started with last year, guys. It doesn't matter if you have one ass cheek and three toes. I will beat your ass. can definitely compete with, with, with the big dogs. Yes! Five! And so! Touchdown, Detroit Lions! You guys, you guys are unbelievable, man. I'm telling you, we are driven by Detroit. Hello, all Lions fans, and welcome on back to yet another episode of MCM Motor City Mania. I'm your host, David T. Pike, and as always, we're diving on in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself, folks. I can't help myself. It is finally freaking happened. I have finally, for the last three years, finally received the vindication. I have finally received the news. I have finally received everything that I have strived, I have worked, I have put my heart and soul into when it comes to being a podcaster is that Jared Goff has finally been extended by the Detroit Lions. It's finally happened. I am so out of this world with just absolute pure jubilation. I am beyond ecstatic right now because I'm just going to tell you this. For anybody who's been with me since the very beginning, but going back to the DLF days, I have fought, I have scratched, I have clawed, I have literally had to go through a ton of arguments with people about why I believed that Jared Goff was the guy, why Jared Goff was not a bridge quarterback, why Jared Goff was not going to be replaced, why Jared Goff is the longtime franchise quarterback, da 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 And finally it's happened. Finally. The news that I have long been waiting for, that I knew was going to happen, it just took a little bit of faith and it took a little bit of trust, it's finally happened. The Detroit Lions have officially come to terms with quarterback Jared Goff. According to Adam Schefter, they have extended quarterback Jared Goff to a four-year, $212 million contract. $212 million contract over four years with $170 million of it guaranteed. I'm just going to put this out there, folks. Did I or did I not tell you so? Did I or did I not say, trust Brad Holmes when he says that, hey, this is our guy. This is the man who's going to be the quarterback for the Detroit Lions long term. I don't know how many of you hooker fanatics I've literally had to fight with who have said, Hennon Hooker, 2025, or, you know, Jared Goff, this is his last year, and Hennon Hooker's taking over next year, or you, whatever the case might be. I've argued with you all, but today, you got to sit down and you got to be quiet. Your time has ended. This is Jared Goff's team. It's going to be his team for the foreseeable future, and here's what I got to say. The chances that Hen and Hooker is going to be a starter here with the Lions, they just went from, you know, maybe you can question it to absolute zero. There's no way Hen and Hooker is ever going to be a starter for the Detroit Lions. It's not going to happen. Jared Goff just now got a four year contract extension to what he currently has. It's a four year contract extension. So he already has his contract for this year still in place. The next time that that contract is going to, you know, the contract that he just got is going to hit is next year. So think about it. You've got the 2024 season already locked up. Then you've got 2025, 2026, 2027. That is when you're going to now have the potential to renegotiate another deal. So 2028 is when this deal that he just got extended to is going to be finished. Let's think about this here, folks. Think about that. In four years from now, Hennon Hooker's 30 already. It is gonna, it's 26 right now. He's going to be 30 in four years. The Lions are not going to hand over the reins to a 30-year-old guy who has never had a chance to be a quote-unquote starter. So you know what the Lions just did? They just pretty much told this to the rest of the NFL. Hey, we got a prime quarterback candidate that's a backup that, hey, if you need somebody in the future that you want to take a gamble on, we're going to build this guy up, and if you want to come knocking for a, for a great potential backup quarterback to take a shot on as a starter, 
we got a guy waiting for you. That's exactly what the Lions just did with this announcement of signing Jared Goff to a four-year, $212 million contract with $170 million guaranteed. Just think about that. That's exactly what the Lions did. In one fell stroke, they said, Jared Goff is our long-term franchise quarterback, and we've now got a long-term set, a settled backup quarterback in Hen and Hooker that if the price is right, we will trade him because we've already got our guy. That's exactly what this move does. That is exactly what it does. It ends the Hen and Hooker you know, narrative about him potentially taking over for Jared Goff. Because there's no way in hell that the Lions are going to wait until Hennon Hooker is 30 years old to potentially give him the reins to be the starter. It's not going to happen. And they're sure as hell not going to do it when he's 28 or 29. I've been thinking about this ever since the draft, but you know what? What the Lions have with Hennon Hooker and Jared Goff is just a younger situation, an earlier situation in terms of years, in terms of age, to the Falcons with Kirk Cousins and Michael Penix. That's all it is. But in this case, the Lions have shown that they want Jared Goff more than they would ever want Hennon Hooker. Oh, and I'm just going to say this right now as well. Um, let's just think about this. Did I, or did I not, when I made my episode way, 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 way back in the beginning of this whole off season, I said, think about it here. This, this contract that Jared Goff is most likely going to get, it's going to be four to five years. It's a four-year contract. Check that box off. I said it was going to be over $200 million. Check that box off because I said probably about $220, $230 million, but I still said over $200 million. $212 million falls within that category. Check. I also said that, you know what, chances are this contract is going to give Jared Goff about $50 million a year on average. Check that box off because it's like, hey, you 200 divided by four, that's 50. So you're talking about for Jared Goff right now about a 53 on average a year contract. But think about this, Jared Goff just got $170 million of that $212 million guaranteed. That is a substantial portion of that contract that's guaranteed, which again, Going back to what I was saying about Hen and Hooker, there's no way in hell you are going to give that much guaranteed money to a quarterback to then have them sit on the bench. So again, for you Hen and Hooker Sallies, for you Hen and Hooker Fanatics, for you Hen and Hooker, oh my God, we're just waiting for him to get a chance to show what he can do and then Jared Goff's going to be an afterthought. You're done. Your thought process, your opinion, it's over with. Hennon Hooker is never going to see the field as a starter. He'll see time in preseason. He'll see time in bat. He'll see times in relief when the Lions are winning by 30 points or something like that. But otherwise, the only time that Hennon Hooker is going to be a starter is if it's not here in Detroit. Because there's no way the Lions are going to wait till he's 29, 30 years old. It's Jared Goff's team. End of story. End of discussion. Period. I don't care. And when you think about it, the Lions got Jared Goff for a steal of a deal. Again. You're talking about a guy that easily could have reset the quarterback market. He could have reset it if he wanted to. But instead, he's taking less money than the top guy on the market right now. Think about that. He took he didn't reset the market by taking the top deal. But Jared Goff over the last two years has produced top 10 numbers. And in fact, he's been top five in some of the statistical categories. You go back to 2022, again, he had a great year with the touchdown interceptions, over 4,000 yards, 65 per completion percentage, all those great numbers. But then, after he has that great year in 2022, he follows it up in 2023 with even better statistical production, and then, by the way, gets the Lions a division crown, also gets into the playoffs, wins two playoff games, and gets to the NFC Conference Championship game. So think about it, folks. Jared Goff literally has accomplished all of this when he was an afterthought. He was pretty much considered by almost every single major analyst and a majority of the NFL, NFL fans and the Lions fans that, hey, this guy's career, he's done. He's never going to be another franchise quarterback for another team. But yet, for all the people that thought he was a bridge quarterback, I kept telling you, what did Brad Holmes say? This guy's not a, he's not a bridge quarterback to them. He's never been a bridge quarterback. And today's contract that the Lions just got him to agree to proves 100%, like I said, Trust Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell in what they said. By signing that contract, by getting Jared Goff, they have announced to the NFL that Jared Goff is their franchise quarterback and that Jared Goff is, not only in terms of pay, but also in terms of production, a top 10 quarterback. He is an elite quarterback. So for all the haters, all the doubters, for all the people that wanted to argue with me for three years, 
This is your time to admit you were wrong, admit I was right, and let's move forward because Jared Goff is the quarterback of the Detroit Lions. Have a nice day, my friends, because I'm telling you right now, I got a smile from ear to ear because this is the one time I'm going to say it. I told you so. But anyway, having said that, I'm going to end this episode, and I just want to say thank you all for watching another episode of MCM Motor City Mania. If you like what you saw, by all means, highly encourage you all to watch the next episode. Also encourage you all to do one of these three things, like, comment, and subscribe. If by chance you subscribed in the past, forgot to do so at the time, or just subscribe and not had a chance to do so, again, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. But I also encourage you all, please, to make sure you hit that bell notification icon that's also next to the subscribe button, so that way you never miss any more content that I push out. Again, subscription numbers are always going up, but we want to make sure you guys also make sure you guys come back as soon as I push out something new. Make sure you share the content with your Lions friends and family members. Share here on YouTube. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Share it anywhere and everywhere you can with everybody and anybody that you can. The more we can share it, the greater the channel grows and spreads. And with that being said, I hope everybody has had a great day. Hope you all have something in your life that makes you happy, makes you smile. I hope you all enjoyed the content. And with that being said, God bless. And until the next time we meet, I'll see you all in the next episode.